Hello friends, I am Monica and this is my channel Explore a Couple in Europe. So today's topic is on Schengen Visa. So basically what is Schengen Visa? Which all countries you can visit through Schengen Visa? And how to apply Schengen Visa for your parents who are in India and you are planning to uh, make them visit here in Schengen Zone. So stay tuned to my video and just follow all the steps and you will be easily able to understand the whole process. So what is Schengen Visa? So basically Schengen Visa is designed for non-EU nationals. Basically if you are not an EU citizen then you fall under this category and it's basically allow a temporary visit to Schengen zone for up to 90 days in one 80 days period. So the maximum days you can stay is for 90 days if you get the visa for this time duration. So basically, what is Schengen zone then? So basically, once you get Schengen visa, you're allowed to enter into 26 countries, which is part of EU and which is part of Schengen zone. So supposedly you applied for Schengen visa for from German embassy. So it's not like that you have to stay in Germany, but you are allowed to visit like other countries which are in Schengen zone because your visa validity stays the same. So you can, you are allowed to move to Austria, to Switzerland for your trip. Uh, but yeah, there is a whole lot of process involved for this visa process. So just stay tuned for it. So now I'll guide you step by step that if you are in Schengen zone, supposedly you are working here in Germany, in Austria, in Netherlands or in any other country, uh, and you want to invite your parents for in your country for up to 90 days because that's the maximum uh, limit for uh, parents to stay here uh, in Schengen zone. So what is the process? The process is not too complicated. It's quite simple, straightforward, and you need to follow all the steps and you need to collect all the information which the visa, uh, visa and uh, department people will need it. So first, the most important thing, if you uh, are already living here and you want to invite your family, then you have to first go to a KVR office and obtain a declaration of commitment, which is that you are stating that you want to sponsor your parents to come to Germany and you are taking care of everything for them, that you are taking care uh, where they stay and you are taking care of their uh, daily meals and everything. So you need to obtain the sponsorship letter and this sponsorship letter is basically you, there's another process for it. I will guide this process, complete process in a different video, but in a nutshell, it's a, it's a one day process where you go for the appointment, you submit all your details, like where you work, what salary you have, your pay slips, your contract, job offer contract. And this is basically the officers to assess whether you have the sufficient amount and you have a sufficient payment that is coming to your bank where you can uh, easily sponsor your family who are coming to visit you. And this will cost around 29 euro and it, it can be obtained like within, I would say within two hours of time when you go there, you'll get a letter. And once you get the letter, you have to post this letter hard copy uh, to your family who are living in India because this is a very important letter and the visa officers need, need this in case if your family is planning to visit to you in your country. So next come is the VFS appointment. So all the tourist visa needs to be processed through VFS. So VFS is a separate independent entity which takes care of all the VF, all the visa related to Schengen area and Schengen zone and you need to follow some process there to understand like what they all need. So it's quite straightforward. All you need to do is to visit their website. I've shared the link below. All you have to go there, you have to check and confirm your booking appointment slot because appointment slot you have to be very 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 quick on it because a lot many times you won't find the appointment slot and you have to really struggle for it so always in advance when are you planning to just make sure that a month before or two months before you're already planning to take this appointment from vfs so once you obtain the appointment from the website it's very straightforward you just need to fill few details your name your email id the slot which you are choosing where you want to choose the slot like if you are from Delhi, you can choose from Delhi, uh, Gurgaon, there are multiple uh, visa VFS offices. So you have the options there and wherever you are getting the earliest appointment, just book it uh, and submit a fee for VFS and uh, online you'll get the booking appointment confirmation in your email. 
then comes all the documents which you have to collect before you go to the VFS uh, office. And this is very, very important because if in case you miss any of those document or your documents are not correct or then it will be a hassle for you. So I would always recommend to have all documents in one place and have the additional documents also so that just in case if the if VFS uh, department people will ask you some more documents, you should be having it and it should not create a hassle for you. The next important thing is your flight tickets. So book your flight tickets in advance and I would recommend to book for fully refundable flight tickets because just in case for any reason you you are not supposed to go there or your visa got rejected for any XYZ reason, anything happens, at least you will get your amount refunded back to you. So my recommendation is to have like if you are like first time uh, applying for the visa, you can obtain like fully refundable that would be easy or you can change it accordingly the dates also so i my recommendation is for that so obtain your flight tickets which is both ways uh round trip flight ticket second thing is to have the travel insurance this is essential it is mandatory for you and you have to make sure that the travel insurance which you are obtaining is at least minimum of thirty thousand euro so you have to check for the various travel insurances out there uh, and there are multiple options and one of the cheapest and best option which I have explored is ACO. I'll share the link below which is really nice because it, it will cost around six or five to six thousand rupees uh, INR and then you can easily get it for like almost hundred thousand uh, euro medical coverage. So that is really nice. So if you are planning you have multiple options like alliance and other options are there so you can explore your options and this is just one of the recommendations which i have noticed uh, so this is very important then third is your travel itinerary so basically uh, in case if your parents are coming so it's well understood that they're coming to visit you so you should be having a cover letter explaining that okay you are going to visit your uh, daughter son or anyone and you want to stay up to this days which are less than 90 days uh, from this day to this day and you are planning to go back to your country after that so you have to and why you are visiting them so this is very important because this will help this is like your portfolio so it will help the officer when they read it to understand okay why you are visiting them in their country then the important part is proof of finances so it is uh, really important because this way they assess that whether uh, you will be able to sponsor yourself or not so supposedly like uh, if your family member who is already living in the country like in germany or any other country and they are sponsoring you so then you have to submit all their details because that is where the officer needs to be convinced that yes you the your your sponsorship letter has written over there that you have enough funds that you can sponsor your family to come and in case if you are getting self sponsor then you have to you know submit additional like bank statements which is your last three months bank statements your itr forms you have to submit and uh, i would also recommend to have additional uh, papers which is like if you have some mutual funds or some kind of other investments where you can prove yeah you have enough financial stability then just keep it with you just in case if uh, if they try to ask you that you have anything else then at least you can show them so this is again really important for you to carry then is your photograph so make sure that you have a recent photograph which you will submit and there is a proper specification specified every country of schengen zone like what needs to be the proper size of it so it, it's 35 into 45 uh, mm uh, photo photograph size so make sure that you have those specifications done and have the recent photographs with you because this is mandatory thing it's not an optional thing uh, then you have to also make sure that you have a form filled which is on the website of uh, video x so basically once you start filling up uh, going for this your vfs appointment there is a form online which you need to fill everything and you need to take a print of print out of it so this video x form i'll post the link below it's it is important because that's contain all the information where you are staying uh how many days you are traveling to and everything all details about yourself then comes the additional uh, sponsorship letter which is like you already submitted this government letter which i told you in the start declaration commitment but there is one letter again which 
uh, your your son or daughter staying in the country they will write and they will send you over the email which is like i want to invite my family to come here to stay with me for this many days and i'm submitting my uh, my residency card my house address proof my house address uh, information and other things which are required so that uh, you have all the information the one who was sponsoring you as well in in hand with you which is uh, all and plus the passport of their passport copy of uh, your son your daughter or any of your family member who are sponsoring you so this is the essential part which is required um, i i believe i've covered almost everything over here so you have you are uh, you are you need to not worry about any additional information that is required for you once you have the appointment date go there with all this set of information documents carrying with you and you have to submit all the documents they'll cross check with you it will take around one two hours time depending on the capacity of the uh, vfs office during that time and they will uh, charge you a fee which is close to about 90 or uh, 90 euro for adults so you have to pay per per person this much of amount there and then they'll give you a receipt uh and they ask you to write an email address in a form and all your short details and on the same day you will get an email notification in your inbox about your reference letter which is your basically uh, we, uh confirming that you have submitted all your documents to vfs and you got a reference id uh, from there uh, this id is important because this helps you to track the visa status and you can easily just go from the vfs visa status tracking online link which i again sending you uh, in my comment section uh, you need to just use this link add your reference id over there and see the status so according to the website it says that uh, it will take around 15 working days for them to issue the visa but yeah sometimes it can take longer up to 45 days so depending on the situation depending on the workload uh, also a point to note uh, if you are planning to travel on a tourist visa without any sponsorship uh, to a specific schengen uh, uh, schengen area supposedly you obtain a visa from germany uh, german embassy then make sure that your itinerary should contain maximum stays in germany so that is something you have to take care of uh, other than this, if you have all this information, if you have invitation letter, if not from your family member, from a friend who is living in this country, can give you an invitation letter that they know you, they are sponsoring you, they, they are inviting you to the country, then it also works. So that's all for uh, the information for Schengen tourist visa stay for short stay up to 90 days. Uh, my upcoming videos would be to explain how you can get the declaration of commitment for your family, which is from Germany, how you can book the appointment and get the necessary uh, letter for your parents to get invited or your siblings to get invited. So uh, do like, subscribe my channel because it really helps me to, uh, to add more insightful information that can help you uh, to know more about the country, to know more about the process which you need to follow before traveling to the country. So hope this video works for you. Thank you.